caught this, it'll take 2 hours and 21 minutes, and it's 76 miles. I didn't think it'd take as long as that. It's because of the type of road, then. Hmm. If you want to follow the coast roads to make it interesting, so you go through all the wee towns and villages, yeah. mm -hmm. it takes a bit longer. But in saying that, you probably probably still be about two hours. Mm -hmm. See, they've all criticised this sat nav as being pretty useless. But some other folk have said, you know, if you just want to go from point A to point B, it's fine, it'll get you there. Yeah. And, and Is that not the idea of it? Well, not really on a bike, because you, you do, you plan tours on a bike and you want to go, not necessarily A to B, you want to hit C, D and E in between, don't you? Yeah, that's true. So, you can't do that with it, but, you can, I, I've got that, that software I've got, you can, you can plan routes. But uh, I watched a thing on YouTube where it said, you know, it had, it had done that, but when it brought it into the, the Honda thing, the, the, the waypoints weren't in the right place, they were miles off and stuff like that. Right. And then there was another person said, there's this, it seems to, when, you, when it converts, when, when it goes into the Honda thing, and Honda converts it, that's where it seems to make the errors. So... They suggested using a piece of software that's free called like a GPS Babel or Babel it's called. You know that Babel fish? So I, what I do, it's quite convoluted, I make the route in my normal software and then I export it as the file that this would normally read. Right. But instead of putting it straight into this, I run it through that Babel, uh -huh. GPS Babel, and then put it into here. And so far it, it seems to be okay. I think well. what it does is takes out lots of superfluous information that doesn't need to be there. If it works? Uh, we'll find it today. <laughs> it's the first time really trying it on this. And I've got my phone if it all goes tits up, you know. But Can but try. Uh -huh. It's a lot easier if it's just on the bike without having to rely on the phone. Yeah. I think they need to put some money into this road because this is used a hell of a lot more than it's ever intended to be used. Yeah. I don't know, there seems to be road works all over the place, but you never see you don't know, you never see the benefit of it. I know. Or it never seems to be the bits you think need to be done. I know, yeah. <laughs> it always seems to be a bit that doesn't seem quite as bad as the bits you've driven over already. Yeah, I know. So why Crail out of all the places in Fyfdale? And why are we going to Crail? Um. My dad was from Crail, he was a Pfeiffer, um, probably what you would call a Doer Pfeiffer. A <laughs> Doer Pfeiffer? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what they say about the Pfeiffers. I'm not quite sure if that's still the case, but it certainly was. Um, my dad originated and was born in Crail, um, grandparents lived there for I can't remember now, but some years, and then... Well, the fisher folk originally, because Crail's a wee fishing port, isn't it? Yeah, it was. no. My ancestry goes back to, I think, the fishing origin. Aye. But I think my granddad was a farmhand. Well, he was. He was a farmhand, farmer. Um, so then they moved to West Linton for a while, just outside West Linton. Uh, they had they stayed there for a wee bit, and then... Um, the last I remember of my grandparents is when they went to Achtermachti. Stayed in Achtermachti for um, my granddad died there. Um, and then my granny moved in with my aunt and uncle in Glenrothes, which is where she died. 
so yeah, I haven't been to Crail for a long time. I just remember going with my mum and dad and we used to stop in Kirkcaldy on the way there, um, sit on the wall at the sea, eat crisps and then feel sick on the way back, <laughs> and which did my dad's head in. Um, and for many, many years I couldn't eat vinegar crisps because it wasn't a thing that we ate all the time, but I couldn't eat vinegar crisps because um, they just made me sick. So. Um, yeah, it was a very long journey as a child. Um, so who, who was it moved to fight to West Linton, did you say? My granny and granddad lived at Lindale, just so outside how, West Linton. How come they moved from Crail to West Linton, which is I can't quite a remember distance. what the circumstances were. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Um, was, it some, was it something to do with my f- the family or looking after the... F- I, I can't remember now. Um, I'd have to ask Margaret, actually. Um, so... Because it's quite a distance when you think of it, especially, you know, 50, 60 years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's a big journey. I can't, I can't remember why. Um, of course, if Charles was here, I'd be able to ask him, but... Aye. Um, I can't remember why they moved, they, they lived in Lyme Dale, um, which is just up the golf course road, just almost opposite the turn line for the golf course. Is that the day with the farmer, maybe? Yeah, but, but, but job-wise, don't know, so... Um, so yeah, haven't been there for many, many years, um, so not too far away, that would just be nice for a wee, a wee visit, a wee dry bike out for a couple of hours, just to see what we can see. We've seen uh, uh, Fraser and Helen went there on their wee jock with Fife, didn't they? Yeah. They flagged up, they'd have been there for... God knows how long. Yeah, I mean, it's originally a, it is a, it's a fishing village, you know. I don't know how much of that is still done from it. I haven't a clue. Well, don't I really know much, an awful lot about it. I had a wee look on Google Maps, and it's got, still got a wee tiny harbour. I don't know whether mm-hmm. there's any fishing goes out. It's a tiny, tiny wee road to get to India. Obviously, not designed particularly for cars or anything like that, you know. Aye. I have to say, I've never been there. I've passed it on the way to St Andrews along this road. But I've never actually, you know, just driven through it basically, yeah. out the other end on the way to St Andrews. I think I've been to Anstruther once, the famous chippy at Anstruther. Yeah. Einster. Einster, I know. How does Anstruther become Einster? <laughs> God knows. Mm, nice view over there. Up there. It's lovely. See, in future we can get a camera rigged up to your helmet. Yeah, I know. Stunning. Lovely view. Yeah. What one's that? Is that Ange Keith? Is that Cram- I don't know. That, that's Ange Keith, that's Cramond back there, I think, isn't it? Or is that Cramond? That might look, that's Cramond, I think, there. What, that big one? No, here, back here. Ah, that's Ange Keith. Yeah. I purposely picked a route, so we'll go right into Burnt Island and along that wee road past that, the bay, remember the programme, the bay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll pass right by that and right by Karen's, well, through Kinghorn anyway. So, up to you if you want to go in. Yeah, that's Burnt Island. Is that? Yeah. I've lost my bit of chewing gum out of my mouth. Oh I don't dear. know where it is. Maybe inside your helmet somewhere stuck to your face. Or stuck to your cloth thing. Neck and neck cover thing. Bob, whatever. Sick. Sorry, just leave it. It'll gather flavour until you find it again. 
<laughs> Fun Island. Nice wee houses, yeah. but not big, big houses. Oh, nice school. They worse than living here, eh? No, nice. And I imagine the property prices here are quite uh, yeah. impressive, I would have thought. I would say so, yeah. Location, location, location! Oh, that's it, Alan, yeah. <laughs> that's the main town just over here, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's that stuff for the bay. Uh huh. Up I know. The hill. Which we knew anyway for being at Carrens, but yeah. So I thought there might be somewhere just to park and sit along here. Mm. Look at the sea. I don't really know. Because I've never really been here. You can park in there. Go in here. Yeah. Don't go in there. Go over this way. We're further along. Well, we're here now. That's how we look at it. Hot stacks. Get a hot cup of tea if you want. Park just yeah, just here. Just here, so we can look at the sea. Can we see over there? Uh huh. I'll do nicely. Okay, Dylan. Dismount. to do is find this bit of chewing gum first. That's where you have to look, see? You can't miss it. Okay, I was just ahead of you, I think. Mm -hmm.
There you go ahead. One of these uh, blinking you might miss it place, I think. Possibly, yeah. Uh, I think it's never the biggest place. I suspect it's a lot bigger than it ever used to be, though. Uh, it's not like a lot of places. I uh, didn't see a lot of housing estates stuck on the end of it as you approach, you know. It's probably not a lot bigger than it was when uh, we're here. There's the harbour down there. That's just how you get down to it and what the road's like. Park up here. Oh, I could do. Just park on the road and... Yeah, just park up here. Yeah. Uh, a wee second, that's a bus stop. I just got the road there. Hmm? Looks like a tune centre for want of a better word, you know? Yeah. Kale Harbour. Looks like lobster pots abound. So it must still be a working harbour as well. There's the wee crab boats or lobster boats or whatever it is in the middle there. Gorgeous. Wave, comes the wave. <laughs> Lovely Susan.